So, hey everybody, as all of you know, today is our fun Friday, but unfortunately our guests today fell sick, so we are not able to have them. So in return, what I've done is uh, for our 7-app, seven 7-week seven challenge, we are moving into building our uh, Kubernetes application for this week. And we are going to look at uh, a movie application where we are going to try and essentially try to summarize the movie and get different kind of um, inputs about the movie. For example, here I'm talking about the diplomat. And you can see here that this is how the final output looks like. So Diplomat is a Netflix political thriller and created it shows. So, you know, if you go to Wikipedia or something like that, there's these big uh, write-ups. And so we are going to use Wikipedia. We are going to use what's called as the TMDB database. And we are going to use something called as Just Watch. So it's like one place where you can just read about a movie, get a quick idea about what the movie is and get all the other details, like who's the cast, uh, what is the Wikipedia URL for the movie and uh, other references. And so there are a lot of products like this. So I'm not saying that this is going to be a, a game changer. But again, the whole point of the 7 app 7 week challenge is to do something fun and kind of unique. All right. So with that, uh, let's go ahead and start week four, where we are going to be building this movie application. And for our fun Friday, I forgot to tell this is this is all we get is the uh, uh, Warner Brothers uh, cartoon characters. All right, so let's uh, begin. So here the architecture is going to be we are going to have uh, um, Docker containers that are going to be deployed into Kubernetes clusters managed by EKS and the image is going to be in ECR. And the clusters are going to be fronted by um, um, a load balancer. And the load balancer is going to point an API gateway, which is now at the end, we are probably going to build a web app or a mobile app. It doesn't make any difference okay, on how we present this particular data. But this is how the output is going to look like. Okay, So let's uh, try and understand the steps. So the very first step is going to be to write a Flask application. So I'm making it fairly simple. I'm just writing a Flask application and then I'm going to dockerize it. All right, so let's uh, look at the Flask application. So here is uh, app.py. And so here you can see that uh, I have all these different steps in here. So the very first thing is uh, I'm going to load all the environment variables so tmdb has an api key that you can get and then uh, the region i'm having again in an environment variable after that i'm going to be using cloud force on it in this particular model for all the summaries and uh, fallbacks and everything so here i'm using the bedrock uh, runtime client and if you don't remember the uh, key thing to remember to know is uh, you have to enable the model. So if you go to Bedrock, you have to modify the model access and give access to the models that you want. So here I have Cloud Sonnet 4, Opus 4, 3.7 Sonnet, and 3.5 Sonnet. Okay, so I'm going to be using Sonnet 4, but you have to give access to these models. And the way you do it is go down here to model access and then modify model access, and you should be done. All right. So that is the next part of our program. And we are going to uh, pack all of this into just one route called summarize slash summarize. Okay? And so these are all uh, the uh, input methods. And so r.get, uh, we get the type. Is it like movie? Is it TV? And then default it out to uh, TV. And then what we are going to do is Wikipedia is going to be our main source. Okay, But as a fallback, we are going to be using um tmdb data all right we are also going to be using the tmdb data for getting things like cast and everything like that and we are going to be using the just watch api so these are the main thing the just watch api is going to be for various uh, this particular show streaming okay and so first thing is uh, we pass out the wikipedia title and so given a particular input, uh, the problem is sometimes the input may not be perfectly right. Like if, if you say 
diplomat the name of the show might be the diplomat and so getting that in wikipedia might be a hard thing which is why i'm falling back to tmdb all right so what i'm going to do is the first thing is going to be summarized with claude and this is the key thing if uh wiki is not working then we are going to be using the tmdb data otherwise we are going to be using the wiki text and finally the just watch data is going to get from these streaming platforms and i'm going to get the url okay so ultimately these are all the different fields that i'm going to get and cloud is going to give us the summary which is our major focus right where we are going to get the summary of the movie but let's say somebody can just read it and then uh, decide if they want to watch it or not or maybe their friend has watched it and they can just come up by saying hey i watched it as well so then comes uh, the tmdb metadata so here uh, that's an api key and uh, it's a free api key you can all get it as well and once i get this uh, the cool thing is you actually get the uh, poster url as well so when i do my front end i can actually show the poster um, url for this particular application and so with tmdb data the first thing is if uh, if wiki doesn't work I just have a simple prompt, generate a three to six sentence summary of, uh, you know, media type of a TV, for example, title, um, TMDB data title, and uh, give me the genres, give me the cast, describe the tone, plot type, and viewer appeal. So kind of also giving me a review of uh, the uh, movie, okay? And so now people know whether you want to go and watch the movie or not. And then we are going to, uh, if not, we are going to do, uh, well, the first option before the fallback is do it with Wikipedia. And so suggest the most likely Wikipedia article title and get the genres cast and uh, get only the title. Okay? And once I just get the title, then I'm doing just an extraction part. So this is more like NLP. And so here I'm going and getting the Wiki title and I'm going to get all the different uh, fields extracted and i'll have the whole wikipedia article now ready to go and then i'm going to put it to cloud again and say you'll be given a full wikipedia article summarize it in three to six sentence for the audience all right and that's it everyone we have seen this a lot of times we are going to be using the cloud sonnet 4 model and i think i have explained it in the first uh, video itself if you are using for inference going to cross region inference here and this is going to be the model ID that you want to take. So for Claude Sonnet 4, this is going to be, uh, sorry, Claude Sonnet 4, this is going to be the model ID. Okay, so that's the model ID that goes in here. And once I do that, uh, everything comes out. The last thing is, uh, I'm trying to get and see if that particular TV show or uh, movie is available or on which streaming platform is available. So just watch is an API that I'm using, it's a free API. And so um, this really is not giving me anything specific except for very specific movies. And uh, I should probably work on this a little more. But, uh, uh, you know, again, um, I'm doing it only for the US. And so with that, that's it, everyone. You just uh, run the Flask app. And once you run the Flask app, we are uh, ready to go. Okay. And so... With that, uh, what I'm next going to do is uh, we have this Python application. So let's go ahead and uh, run this, just this application to make sure that, uh, you know, it's ready to go. So let me bring my PowerShell and then uh, let's stop. And then uh, it's in my movies and then uh, Python app.py. So just to make sure everything is the way it should be. So here I have uh, the route summarized and then I'm going to give the title. You can do a curl command as well, but for now I'm going to do this. Make sure that I get the output and um, we we'll just make sure. Okay, nice, we got the output. Let's do another movie, for example, uh, um, let's do, uh, Jurassic Park, and then type movie. Right, let's see if something comes up. It's taking a 
little bit of time but it's probably doing the fallback and all of that as well so you know there's a lot of cloud uh, calls going on here okay whoops so this is the problem with uh, four so let's actually debug this live and change it to uh, 3.7 because uh, four always you know has been giving me issues as well so let me go into 3.7 sonnet i'm copying this and then i'm going in here and wherever i have the uh, model id i'm going to use 3.7 all right and then let's uh refresh this again hopefully this should work So again, takes a little bit of time. Our front end will be a lot more fancier because we'll get the URLs of the of the movie and things like that. And so we should be ready. Awesome. So we got here and then uh, Jurassic Park 1993. It's a Steven Spielberg groundbreaking who creates a theme park with dinosaurs and uh, the film revolutionized blah, 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 blah. And with the perfect, this is one of the greatest movies made. Um, the TMDB ID is here. So if you actually wanted to go and get the TMDB ID, you can go and uh, check it out there. Okay. Unfortunately, like I said, here that's a rating 7.959. This is the TMDB rating. And this is the cool part where uh, if you wanted, you can go ahead and uh, download the nice image. All right. So we have all our data that's needed. And so for today, I just want to go ahead and uh, uh, I've run the Python app, but let's go ahead and uh, create a Docker container and uh, test it uh, from Docker, okay, where we do a Docker run. And so let's uh, go ahead in here and uh, um, let me uh, create the Docker container. I believe I have the... Uh, oh, and before that, uh, this has a standard uh, Docker format. So if you're not very familiar with Docker, let me quickly show you the structure. And so um, here you can see that I have a Docker file. I have the app and then this is really not needed. And then I have the requirements file, which is all the libraries. And then I have my uh, environment variables. That's it. Okay. So here let's call this uh movie reviewer which is going to be our uh, container's name and so you can see here that uh, uh this is getting um built and once this is built uh, let me go ahead and uh, check if everything's doing good so uh Yes. So right now there's no container running because I haven't run anything. And now you have to make sure you give the access key, ID, secret access key and everything because uh, we have to access uh, the cloud. Okay. So let me go ahead and make sure that all these are configured the way it should. Okay. And then I'm doing a Docker run. So essentially the Docker image has been created and the container is running. And let's go ahead and uh, refresh this. So now on port 8080, it is being served through the Docker container because you can see here that the Python app is now stopped. Okay, So the Docker container is completely working the way it should. And now we have the image, we have uh, everything. And so if you wanted to check this, uh, um, this, uh, whoops. PowerShell. Let me just make sure I don't, yeah. All right, so let me um, make sure that, uh, oh, right now it may not be running, but uh, you can open a new one. All right, so it is running. So you can see here that uh, um, this is uh, the container that's running. Um, I don't have any other container. So let's go ahead and uh, run this particular container. Uh, um, so 
that was the one with uh, the uh, AWS part and so um, let me go ahead and uh, just take all of this and uh, oh okay so it is running and then uh, if I go in here let me refresh this again and make sure that uh, we are getting the output that we should. I think I stopped the review that I just created and summarizer is ready. Okay, so essentially that's it, everyone. Uh, the container is created. And so tomorrow when we come back, we are going to uh, upload this to uh, uh, the image to EKS and we are going to create uh, uh, a set of pods that are going to be running and uh, against the nodes. And then we are going to, essentially EKS is going to manage everything. So we just used a very few um, EKS uh, TL commands um, and a little bit of cubectl commands and that's it, all right? So with that, uh, hope you like this video, everyone. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe, uh, please share as well. And with that, um, have a good rest of your day, everyone. Bye-bye.